Angus was ready to go for a walk and we ran to the park as normal. I thought he would be interested to go back to the woods as he looked so yearningly up the path yesterday, but zero interest today. On an untamed section of the park, Angus marked and then scratched the ground. He was so joyful, tail wagging, as he freely did this. He knows he can't on manicured lawns. With doing a bowel movement, and yes, I will take a photo of you, Angus, even if you try to hide in the bushes, and insisting on heading home, we came across a very friendly large dog who wanted to engage with Angus, but I had Angus engage with treats, thinking this is the better way to get his attention. Angus did not react negatively to any dog we came across today. Given the liberty to choose the path at the crossroads, Angus led us on a lovely neighbourhood walk. He automatically knows to stop and sit at the corner of Basin Reith Road. He had a good smelling expedition and marked as he pleased. There was a distinct smell of skunk on somebody's lawn and Angus still wanted to stay there as I was protesting and then he must have understood because he snorted for a while. At the top of Bateson Ridge, I said we needed to go home and tried to walk back the same way we came. Angus kept on pointing west on Ridge. This intelligent dog was showing me the way home. He rolled near the fire hydrant on Wreath and Ridge, and then later, your neighbour's house. He had to do surveillance of his house again. We walked around the backyard. All is well. He did not want the walk to end. Harness removed. Contact Harness contact point scrubbed. If you don't want photos of him at the bathroom, don't hesitate to advise. I'm just adding them as proof.